Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs and this is another cocktail video in lockdown. Yeah, we're locked down, the country's locked down, so it's messed up, it's a messed up situation. So, for some reason I'm getting into cocktails. <laughs> If you saw our first um, update video about the cocktails, you'll hear, I've talked a little bit about my personality, I've become like obsessed over things, uh, and the most recent thing I've become obsessed over is cocktails. So I bought this cocktail kit thing, which has got sort of everything that you need, and I will need the measuring cup right now. At this specific moment in time that I'm filming, I'm just going to be making one, but when I edit the video together I'll do a couple. Anyway, before I actually make the cocktail that I'm going to make, a quick little update. I bought some new alcohol, so I've got a load of whiskey now. I've got some cheap stuff and some miniature versions of like more expensive ones. I've got a couple of new liqueurs, or whatever you want to call them. Creme de menthe, or creme de menthe. This is a mint liqueur, which I'll be using today. And also creme de cacao, or cacao white, the white chocolatey thing. Those are both integral to what I'm making today. I also found at the back of my cupboard a butterscotch flavour syrup, so that'll be really useful. So I've whacked that in the uh, cocktail cupboard. Also, some stuff arrived, some cocktail glasses. Here we go, there's, there's the first set, they're tall ones. And then the second set, can you just about see them there? Anyway, the second set is what I'm using right now. I th I th is this a martini glass, right, I think? Anyway, this is traditionally what a grasshopper is served in, and a grasshopper is what I'm gonna do right now. Grasshopper, um, I had one actually, I had one fairly recently, I had one back in December, where, um, when my team at work went out for like a Christmas dinner -y, um, evening. <laughs> Chris cr Christmas dinner -y evening. Stupid, stupid person. Um, yeah, I had one then. I had, <laughs> I had one then. Uh, it's basically mint choc chip. It's basically mint choc chip ice cream cocktail. Uh, I'm going to probably be making a double serving. A double because just better, innit? Right, ice. This is a very, very, very easy cocktail to make. Recipes claim, uh, recipes claim to do 25 ml or 30 ml each of these, but I'm gonna do 50 ml each. So creme de menthe, or creme, creme de menthe, creme de menthe, mint liqueur, in. Actually, I'm gonna get my photo ready. This smells, this smells amazing, this is creme de cacao white, or creme de cacao, um, again, a third of that. I just spilled it, that's stupid. And then a third single cream. I'm gonna use a little cream and then top the rest up with milk. Just to make it marginally less indulgent. And because this milk needs using up and I don't wanna waste it, which I know sounds stupid, but what else? Oh man, it already smells amazing. Very nice indeed. Can you actually see the colour? Not really. Oh, there you go. Shake. Oh, it smells in cream. It smells in cream. I'm going totally senile. Glass. Here we go. Yeah, see, look, this was a double. This is supposed to be a double. Needs to be a triple to fill that glass. I'll remember that next time, needs to be a triple. Because I have a feeling I'll be making these often, <laughs> to be honest. Now an optional garnish on this is just a little bit of, I've just got a little bit of hot chocolate like powder. I'm just gonna sprinkle a tiny bit on top. Here we go, this is the grasshopper. Oh, it's quite strong actually. How much are these bad boys? 24%. Higher than the average liqueur. Mmm. Really nice. I think it can be improved though. I think I'd do, I think I'd probably do 25 creme de menthe, 25 creme de cacao, 25 creme de cacao brown, and then maybe like the same, same amount of milk and cream to make it slightly less strong for my palate. I think that's what I'm going to try next time, but um, I do love it and I'm going to be doing similar things in future for sure. Thanks for watching this segment, now on to the next. Cheers. Hey guys, another day, another cocktail. This time, 
miss a few ingredients down here. I'm going to make old fashioned or cherry old fashioned, which I think I'm going to prefer a little bit. Uh, really excited for this buzzing. Um, let's see how it goes. So one thing I realised guys is that my jiggler uh, is not UK as I'd thought. Uh, so I thought this was 50mm and 25mm. It's actually American which means this is 30mm and this is 15 Now an old fashioned should use bourbon. Uh, this is not bourbon, this is just whiskey. So it's already wrong but whatever, here we go. Uh, anyway it calls for 45mm. So we'll do one top one. Oops, spilled. And one bottom one. Whiskey. I think I've already gone wrong to be honest. You sort of need the ice as well. And I'm doing a cherry version, which is a half shot of cherry syrup. Something like that. So that's to, normally in an old fashioned you'd put sugar for the sweetness. I'm doing cherry, which I think I'm going to love. I'm going to put the ice in now. Now for a few dashes of bitters, which smell insane. One, two, there we go, I'll do a few. Oh wow, I wonder if I put too much syrup in. And then a squirt of orange essence, bitters, oil around the rim and the lid and then pop that in and that is a cherry old fashioned okay here we go <sighs> Jesus Christ it smells absolutely insane I think it's going to be way too strong for me but here we go Yeah, super strong, but yeah, it's nice. It's just way too strong for me. Oh man, it's good though. Only lightly sweet. I'd like to try a proper old fashioned next time with the actual sugar cubing because I don't know how sweet the syrup is. I don't know, I put in half a shot. Anyway, I'm going to top this up with soda water, I think, and enjoy it that way. Cheers. I think I'll do one more cocktail this video, so stay tuned for the next one. Hi guys, it's several days later, the lockdown continues and today I'm making a pina colada but I have to do that because I don't have the right ingredients. Now I have bought um, the coconut cream or cream of coconut which you need for pina colada. I bought that, it's arriving from Amazon um, and what you would use, normally use along with that is pineapple juice. I've been doing my, my essentials shops at Aldi and they don't have pineapple juice so what I've got I've got coconut rum, so that's good, and I've got dark rum, so that's going to be like the double rum hit, so that's not a bad start. Frozen pineapple chunks, this is a blended cocktail, so that'll be good. Ice, so honestly, so far so good. This is where it falls apart though, so because I haven't got pineapple juice, obviously I've got the pineapple chunks, but I'm going to use this. This is actually a pineapple, banana and coconut smoothie, so I'm going to get a bit of liquid and a bit of pineapple-y flavour from there. Um, and then for the coconut element, I've got coconut lollies from Aldi as well. So, yeah, just sort of hope it works. Let's put it together, right? Like I said, this is blended, so I'm using my Nutribullet. Bartending, cocktail making skills, developing. See that? See that? Good, in it? Well, what, what, don't even worry about that one, because, you know, that is fine. The old behind the shoulder? I'm not gonna do it with that, actually. I'm going to do a full glass like that, so... Oh, the other elephant in the room is that my jiggler, the jiggler that I have, I still have it, is an American jiggler, which is a 15 and 30 mil. So I bought a European jiggler, which is a 25 and 50 mil. I think I'm going to go 25 end this time. One each of the coconut rum and the dark rum. The other elephant in the room is I don't think I've addressed that. Just there. I'll show you that at the end of the episode, but we've got a now a sort of little mini bar cocktail area thing. So that's cool. Right. I'm gonna go for a small handful of pineapple chunks. Five second rule. Ice. I'm gonna go 
maybe 75 mil of this. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Don't put that in MJ. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> you dickhead. Don't, at least don't replay it. That was, no need to do that. You're embarrassing me as well as yourself. So that's, right, let's put a bit more in. Right, let's see how big these lollies are. Lollies are like that. Half at least. Pop them in. Right. Don't know if it needs a bit more liquid to blend, to be honest. Yeah, it's probably going to need more liquid to blend, but I might put just a dash of water in just to help it along. I think there's still a bit of ice in there, but I'm going to rock with that. You shouldn't use the Nutri Bullet for too long. Seems like a good consistency. It smells good. Bit of the banana, a bit too much banana's coming through. So that smoothie might be the, the problem, but here we go. Brilliant, again this is a fail, my hand and fingers are getting cold, frozen on. Embarrassing, I'm actually going to have to warm my fingers up now because if you saw from a previous episode. I probably suffer from an illness, from a problem, probably loads. Okay so unfortunately I also don't have a cherry to go in, in it which would be the traditional um, garnish for a pina colada but very happy with the looks, it certainly looks the part. There we go, let's get it more in the dark background, there we go, that's more what we want in it. So, let's give it a try. Mm. I think the frozen pineapple, I think the frozen pineapple chunks are brilliant in there. You can taste the fresh pineapple coming through really nicely. The smoothie is definitely the weak straw there. It, it tastes too much like a smoothie basically. Um, that's fine, it's still nice and I'm definitely going to down this one, but definitely room to improve. I think it would benefit from a bit of vanilla actually. So when I get a few more cocktails through, not cocktails, cocktail ingredients. We've ordered quite a few, so we're actually going to get quite a few soon. I'll definitely revisit pina colada. need to get some glass A cherries as well actually. Um, but I, uh, the main thing I'm really happy with is how well the Nutri Bullet has worked. And that is the perfect consistency. So that is going to be really crucial mm, for more of our like blended cocktails. So, mm, still really good. Barely can taste the alcohol in there. You get a little bit of the flavour through, but not really the alcohol itself. So, can do a stronger version as well. This was basically a test for me. I'm really happy with it because now I know the jumping up point. And also, I know roughly the amount of ice to put in there now. So, very happy with that. Thank you very much for watching this cocktail journey. I hope you enjoyed it. As with the last video, let me know in the comments below what your favourite cocktails are and I will endeavour you to make them in an upcoming episode series, which I will do more definitely. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. It's Endeavour. Endeavour? Um, endeavour. Yeah, endeavour. It's an American pronunciation. <laughs>